Eduardo, good afternoon. <clears throat> hello, Eduardo. Hello. Hello. Good hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are things going? Tell me. <laughs> it's so normal strong. day. Normal day. No, normal day. Okay. Hey, a what about the uh huh? A, a little, a little um, a minor uh -huh. activities like oh, other days. okay, fewer activities. Yeah, fewer activities. Oh, okay, very nice. What about the weather? The weather is raining, I think so. Ah, okay. Yeah, because in my house has been cloudy all day. Cloudy. No, very I, cloudy. I, I, ah, it was it was raining in, in Yeah, I, I, uh, about 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. It was raining. It was raining. Ah, okay. No, here it's very cloudy. And I listen mm. to thunders, but I don't know where. Maybe thunders mm. in La Paz, so I don't know where, but okay. But it's not raining yet. Okay. Yeah. I like the weather like this. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's very I, I, fresh. I, I like the, the sound of the thunders and the mm -hmm. uh, vibration in the... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I feel I feel that vibration when the trucks passes near my yeah. house. <laughs> I sometimes think that it was a, it is shaking, you know, like an earthquake. But no, sometimes yeah. are the trucks. Okay, very very nice. Okay, very cool. Uh, you know that the week has been fast. Today is yeah. Wednesday. Tomorrow we finished right, and next week we finish uh, the module. It's, it has been a very, very fast month, okay? And then we are ready for October, right? Yeah, in October, the next week is... The next week. First mm -hmm. day. And when is your birthday? <laughs> August. In, oh, in August, so it was like but, in August. But I don't, okay. uh, don't celebrate, do you remember? Yeah, it's true, it's true, yeah. it's true. Yeah, you know, you don't, exactly. I thought it was in October, November, December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's true. I was talking to a, a friend, okay? I was talking to a friend about, about the website that you sent me. Ah, okay. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. You, you, me, hey, you, can, you can practice. I, I, when I was at the university, I learned uh, some French. Ah, uh -huh, okay. And I would like to, 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 to practice my French with literature, you know? Okay. So it would be a good idea. Okay. It's, and, it's I, nice. and, and, and she told me, if you don't want to have the, you know, the, the online sites, I can give you the, in paper. Yeah. Ah, I said, good. Yeah, because we're going to go to, to eat uh, breakfast next week. So maybe she can take one, okay? Okay. For for opening topics, okay? okay, that's very nice. Very okay, Eduardo, we are going to practice today uh, the present perfect. Okay, yesterday, uh, some minutes ago, I sent the uh, a list. Okay, a list in um, in the WhatsApp group, uh, just in case uh, you don't remember the past participle of the verbs. For example, the verb be, been, see, seen, eat, eaten, drink, drunk. Come, come. At the same list, uh, we, I received that in, the, in many, uh, around three, three weeks ago. Exactly. Uh, yeah. the, with the present perfect, okay, with the present perfect uh, tense. And uh, the okay. other was uh, with the simple past. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, with the simple past. Uh, and the other is with the past participle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it, the, the the name could be like similar, but they are very different. Yeah. Uh -huh. Past simple, and the other is the one that I sent yesterday. Uh, uh, sorry, some minutes ago is press a uh, past participle. Past participle. Yeah. Okay. And That's it. This is, is the is practice. The uh, is it the same? Oh, it's the same. Really? Yeah. I thought I I thought I sent the past tense. Past simple regular verbs. Uh-huh. Uh, pre, ah, present past, no, excuse me. It's different, right? 
No, present perfect irregular verbs. Uh -huh. Yeah, present okay. and this is past. Okay, exactly. you're, you're uh -huh. right. Yeah, so the one that we're going to use today is the one that I sent uh, some minutes ago, right? Okay. Just in case you want to practice, okay? Hey, Carlita Marroquín is here. Hello, Carlita. Well, I think I think she she's online, but I think she's not in the in the computer right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna practice. These are exercises just to refresh your memory, and then we start. Okay, what we have to practice today, right? Let's okay. start with the part one. The instructions, Eduardo and Carla, put the verbs in the present perfect. Say the sentence aloud, okay, and then I will show the the answer. It, remember that the present perfect is with have or has plus the verb in past participle, okay? Uh, let's see, for example, here uh, it says, I slash see that woman before, but I can remember where. So what we have to do here is to add the auxiliar have or has, plus the past participle of the verb see. If you remember, the past participle of the verb see is seen, okay? Sí. So, aha, uh -huh, you digo, yo he visto a esa mujer. So, originally the answer has to be like this, right? I have seen that woman before, but I can remember where, okay? That's it. This is the example that I have because then you're gonna do the other exercises to me, okay? I have seen that woman before. Yo he visto, okay? Let's start with this one, with the number two. This is the question. You ever play? In parenthesis, write in golf, and then the answer, okay? Eduardo, let's start making the number one, the number two, please. Oh. Make the question, similar to yesterday's question. Uh -huh. Do, do you ever play golf? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, with, with present perfect, Eduardo. Uh, perfect. Have you? Uh -huh. Have you mm -hmm. ever played golf? Okay. Have you ever played? Play or played? Played. Uh -huh. Excellent. Played. Okay. Very good. So, have you ever played golf? My answer is yes. I play golf a lot. Okay. Very good. Let's continue, okay? Do this one. If you don't remember the past participle of right, you can check the list, okay? Go ahead. Do the other one, the number three, Eduardo. Uh, have you ever brought a pawn? Wrote is past tense. No, uh, in past participle. Past participle. Written. Exactly, okay? Can you please read the question once again? Have you ever written a poem? Excellent. Yes, in high school. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, we have Jose Garcia. Hello, Jose. Okay, let me check the answer. Hello. Hi, hi, Jose. Ready to participate. Have you ever written a poem? Okay, very good. Okay, this is for Jose. Number four. Okay. Does Emma yeah. know some? No. She never... <laughs> present perfect remember present perfect the auxiliar has or have she never has mm -hmm. past has participle meet. has meeting past participle of meet meet I don't remember I sent a list some minutes ago so you can check it the past participle of meet is met Met. Uh -huh. okay, met. okay, okay, very good. What is the auxiliar do you use? Has. Has, okay. The position is like this. Let's see the answer. She has never met, okay? Okay, here. Met. Remember, uh, never is between the auxiliar and the verb in past participle, okay? okay. She has never met, okay, let's see. Uh, Carla Marroquín, are you here? Mm, well, I think she's not here. Okay, Eduardo, continue with number five. Anne and Eric have lots of books and they 
Terry Reds. Mm -hmm. And the auxiliar, the auxiliar, please. Don't forget the auxiliar. Uh, and they <clears throat> Yes. Have. They have. Red. 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 Uh -huh, very good. They red have them. red. All of them. Okay, let me check. Hello, Carlita Yanes. Okay. It says they have red. Excellent. Okay, very good. They have read all of them. Ellos han leído. Los han leído todos, right? Okay. Jose, once again, number six, Jose. Okay. I, I have never been to Australia. Excellent. Okay. I have never been to Australia. Very good. Carlita Yanez, please. Number seven. Joy's favorite film is, is Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. She saw it five times. Okay, uh, present perfect. Experiences. Ella la ha visto, okay? She's... Remember the auxiliar that we practiced yesterday, have or has? She has. She has. She has. So it five times. Past participle of C. Past, past participle. Past participle. No past tense. Past participle. Oh. You remember? You can check the list. I sent the list some minutes ago in the WhatsApp group. If you don't know, maybe you can you can help Jose. Ah, sim, teacher. Sim. Sim. Excellent. Very sim. good. Can you please she now tell me the sentence? She has seen it five times. Excellent. Very good. She has seen it five times. Okay. Eduardo, once again, number eight. I have, um, let, let me travel. It's, uh, it's regular. Ah, it's regular. Mm -hmm. Travel is regular. Uh, let me. So you uh, add ED. Uh huh. Uh, travel it. Okay. Uh -huh, travel it. Uh, uh, Traveled. I have tra traveled. Uh -huh. Very good. Bus and train. Someday I want to take a trip by boat. By boat, okay. Very good. I have traveled. Okay, very good. I have traveled. Very good. Jose, please, once again, number nine. This is the second okay. part, Jose. Completed sentences. Okay. That's it. Keith. Uh -huh. Susan. Susan. Is in New York. Mm -hmm. She. Look, the verb be. You have to use the verb to be. She. she was. No, in present perfect. All the time. She, remember. Ah, okay. okay. Don't forget the, she, the Don't forget the auxiliar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She have. She has. Have. She no. has. Well, in the past. She has been. She has been she has there. been there since Monday. Okay, let's check. She has been there since Monday. Very good. Ella ha estado. Okay, she has been there since Monday. That's the lunes, right? Okay. okay. Go ahead, Carlita Yanes. I know. You have to use the past participle for the verb no. Okay, okay. go ahead. I know, Isabel. I I has known her for a long time. Okay, I uh, I don't I know if I'm okay. Has I have, or have? I have I have known. Ah, okay. I have known. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Eduardo, number three. Nancy and Sergio. And Sergio are married. Uh huh. So you have to use the verb to be in past participle. Okay, go ahead. They have been married since, mm -hmm. since? since 1997. Excellent. Okay, very good. Let me check. They, uh -huh. they have been married. Very good. Very good. Continue number four. Carla Marroquín, are you there? Carla Marroquín? No. Well, she continues being absent. Okay. Uh, Jose, number four. Bill okay. is sick. Bill is sick. He has 
The verb be in past. It has been. Past participle. It has, it has been. Uh huh. Uh, sick for the last few days. Let me check. He has been sick for the last few days. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Number five. Okay, Carlita Yanes. Mm. We live on Main Street. We uh, we has left. We has or have? Have. have. We have okay. left. Okay. Left, leave, leave, leave. No, Carlita. Leave is regular. Lived. Mm. Uh -huh. Lived. Uh -huh. So okay. can you please repeat? We. We, we have lived there for 10 years. Let me check. Okay, perfect. We have lived there for 10 years. Very good. Eduardo, number six. Um, Chris or Christ? Chris. Chris. Uh -huh. Chris works in a bank. He has works. Uh, in past work. 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 Uh -huh. work. 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 Uh -huh. work. In a bank for five years. Let me check. He has worked in a work. bank for five years. Excellent. Very good. Number seven. Okay. Andy has a headache. The past participle for has. Okay. He. Okay. Jose. Okay. El ha tenido. Right. He. He had. He has had. He has had. Excellent. He a has headache. had a headache. He got up this month. This morning. Excellent. Very good. He got up this morning. Very good. Number eight. Okay. Do we have here? Claribel, are you here? Yes, Hi, Claribel. Okay, Claribel, this is for you. Okay, present perfect, Claribel. Okay. I study English. I study English on uh, on Saturday. Uh huh. I the auxiliar. I, the auxiliar. I has I had studied English for six months. Okay, very good. I have studied English for six months. Studied, remember, is in past participle, right? With ed, okay. I have studied English for six it's months. Studied. Okay, very good. Okay, that's it. This is okay. Uh, that's it. The last part. Okay, Eduardo. Now you choose one. Lives or has lived. So you pay attention to the sentence. Okay. Ah, como estamos viendo present perfect, todas son present perfect. No, pay attention to the context. Okay. Let's see, Eduardo. Number one, Vivian. Vivian has lived in Canada since 1999. Okay, perfect. Well done. Carla Yanes. Ruth. Ruth is a good friend of mine. I know. I know her I very know. well. I know. No. I have known. I know her I very know well. Her. Okay. Excellent. Very good. La conozco. Very good. Very good. Jose. Okay. Ruth is a good friend of mine. I... For a long time. I have known her for a long time. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Claribel, number four. Sorry. I am late. How long are, are you, you or have you been? Have you been waiting? Uh huh. Only five minutes. Let me check. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, Carla Marroquín, are you here? <laughs> I think she's not. She's not in the class, right? Okay. Jose, go ahead. Number five. Ted works in a hotel now. He likes his job a lot. Okay, let me see. Works. Excellent. Very good. Eduardo, number six. 
Amy is re uh, reading the newspaper. She has been reading reading it for two hours. Has been. Let me see. Excellent. Very good. Carlita Yanes. Okay. How long how long do you live in this house? Listen, about ten years. How long oh, how do long you live? Uh-huh. Ajá, uh -huh. do you live in this house? ¿Hace cuánto, hace cuánto vivís o has vivido? Entonces sería, how long have you lived? How you lived in this house? In this house. Uh -huh. Very good, that's it. Okay. How you lived. Very good, okay, okay. that's it. Number eight, eh, Claribel. Is that a new coat? No, I had this coat for a long time. Okay, I have or I have had? I have had. I have had, let's see, he tenido, okay, very good. I have had this coat for a long time, okay. Jose, number nine, okay. please. You have two, Ed, two sentences. Ed is in Seattle now. He, he has been? There for the last three days. Okay, is very good, and he has been he excellent. Has been. Very good. He has been in Seattle, okay, for a long time. Perfect. Okay, very, very, very good, guys. Okay, this is okay. This is a, a review for the present perfect. The topic that we studied yesterday. Just in case, guys, you don't remember. The you don't remember the, the 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 verbs in past participle. You can check the vocabulary that I sent or the the the, the words right the verbs that I sent to the WhatsApp um, a group. Okay. Well, right now we are going to discuss a little bit about your favorite no favorite food, but favorite snack. You know like a sandwich, kind of salads, or maybe a special food that you make, not for lunch, or but like, a, you know, in the break time, okay? Um, and I have different questions. For example, we have the number one. What's your favorite snack? Is it easy to make? What is, what's in it? So that means the ingredients. Uh, when do you eat it? How often do you eat it? And how healthy is it okay this is about uh favorite snacks okay uh, if you ask me well my favorite snack is uh for example uh sandwich okay uh, well it's, it's not a sandwich it's a kind of bread that i i make okay with um cream cheese with cream cheese like what we call el queso crema right cream cheese and uh, a strawberry um, with a strawberry well topping this is one uh, of my favorites i don't know why i like the the combination of salty and 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 and, and you know sweet okay it's it delicious yeah i, I like it <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> the, the, com the combination is delicious uh, salty I, and, and uh -huh. sweet. <laughs> yes, I, I I I tried this in a in for the first time in the supermarket. Uh, yeah. This uh, this play a woman was giving some kind of uh, cookies, and I said try, and I said wow, but <laughs> I don't like the company. Try, they are delicious, and I tried them. I fell in love with that flavor, so I like. It. Okay, Jose, do you have a favorite snack? Not really, but I I eat I eat I sometimes uh, oatmeal. Ah, milk. oatmeal, very good with milk. Okay, mm -hmm. is it easy to uh, make for you? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. with cinnamon. I oh, like with ah, cinnamon. with cinnamon, delicious. Okay, uh, what um, can you mention the ingredients? Uh, oat. Hot, uh huh. Milk. Milk. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say pasas? Uh, raisins. 
raisins. raisins mm -hmm. Okay, too. very good. Do you mm -hmm. add? Yeah, a, little, a little sugar. Huh? Ah, a little sugar. Okay. Okay. When do you eat it, Jose? In the morning, always. Oh, in the mornings. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. How often do you eat it? Always. I eat, I, I eat always. Okay, that, every, every morning? Every morning. Okay, very only, good. Only on Sundays, only, only on Sundays, I, I you eat, eat pupusa. chatarra. <laughs> chatarra. <laughs> <laughs> ah, on Sundays, yeah. It's like me. I don't eat pupusas during the week. I only eat pupusas on Sunday or Saturday, but only once, uh, a, week. once a week. Okay. Uh, me, uh -huh. twice. Twice, Saturday and, and, and Sunday. Sunday. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Very good. How healthy is your snack? How healthy do you consider it is? Uh, yes, very healthy. Very healthy, yes. I very love the, the oatmeal. Okay, very good. Okay. Carlita Yanes, what about you? Do you have a favorite snack? Oh, my favorite snack is nachos with bean and meat. Okay, oh, delicious. Uh -huh. is, it, is it easy to make? Uh, yes. Is it easy? Uh -huh. Yes. No, no, not really. The, the, meat, the meat is no, no, it's easy. <laughs> it's difficult well, to cook them. The I think, for, I think for, it's a yeah. little, I think it's a little difficult, but, uh, but if you buy the ingredients, right? Yeah. For uh -huh. me. Yeah, okay. Uh, the other question, uh, can you tell me the ingredients, Carlita? Okay, uh, the ingredients are uh, sauce tomato. Uh -huh. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Uh -huh. Beans. Beans. Uh, meat. Okay, meat. Nachos. Nachos, uh -huh. Do you buy a specific brand of nachos? No? Uh, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and and ground meat, right? Yes. Ground yes, meat is carne it's, molida. It's, uh -huh. it's yellow cheese. Ah, okay, very good. Ah, oh, very delicious. Okay. Cheddar. How often? Uh -huh. Cheddar, right? Cheddar. Uh -huh. When do you eat it, Carlita? When do uh, you eat the snack? I eat in the cinema. Out in the cinema, what about in your house? You don't make it? No. Ah, I thought you made it. Carlita, <laughs> 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 you buy the, the nachos. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nos vaciló, uh, Carlita. <laughs> no, no, it's es que hay, hay toques que no los consigo. Yeah. No, no, I understand because... For what is easy. Uh -huh. yeah, it's easy for Carlita because you buy it. Only, very, only to buy. <laughs> very easy. Very easy. Carlita, do you do you prepare a snack in your house that you make, but you you cook it? Um uh -huh. no. No, no. Okay. I don't I don't remember. I broke I brought in gas station. Ah, okay, in the gas station. Okay, they, they are delicious, the ones in the gas station, in, in, to be honest. In, Wal in Walmart, is cheap. Yeah, in Walmart, uh -huh, you can buy the, 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 the nachos there. And delicious, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, in, how often in, do you eat it? In ab abundante. It's a lot. They, have, they, they give you a lot, a lot of, a lot of mm. nachos. Okay. A lot of nachos. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, sometimes for two people. Mm hmm Sometimes mm, for correctly. two people. Okay, very nice. What about you, Eduardo? Do you cook? Jose no. cooks? Huh? You don't cook, no. Eduardo. I... Anything. <laughs> okay. Only, only with my wife is, is uh, uh, out of my house. <laughs> In another country? <laughs> yeah, another country. You buy only Subway and pizza and hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> and no, pupusas. No, but... Do you make wife... a snack? No. You don't know how to make a snack, a, a sandwich, or I don't know my something. Wife, my wife, the, uh, no me lo permite. <laughs> ah, no, my wife doesn't let you let yeah. you cook. Ah, but, you're but spoiled. I, Está bien consentido. You're very spoiled. But, but I, I like when when my <laughs> wife prepares me a, a yuca. Oh, fried yuca. Uh, 
Fried, uh, not fried. It's, boiled. Uh, boiled. Boiled. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. With lemon and a special curtido, right? Okay. Very yeah. nice. Very yeah. nice. And cream. Ah, cream? Yeah. And cream. the top? No, it's crema. Yeah, with cream yeah. on the top. And uh, I see a oh. encima. Oh, wow. Yucca with cream. Mm, this is strange. Okay. Mm -hmm. I good. have never, I have, but I will try. Uh huh. It's it, it yeah. the same with, with potatoes. It's similar to potato. Uh -huh. Ah, potatoes and cream. Potatoes. Yeah, no, yeah, you're similar, right. But, but this kind is of similar. Yeah, but this is yuca. Okay, it, very but, good. But the, name, the, re, the restaurant in the fast food in centros comerciales and shopping. Eh, what is eh, the name? De donde papas, así, con ah, con eh, ah. food court. Yeah, but what is the name of the restaurant? I don't remember. Uh, eh. Um, very, very expensive for <laughs> yeah it's true it's true let me let me five, let me let me try to to to, to five six dollars remember the, five, the, the dish dollars, right huh? the dish, the uh -huh. dish is correct yeah it's true it's a little expensive and they don't give you a lot like mm -hmm. i okay. i best um, to make it house. at home ah yeah <laughs> my, uh, my <laughs> i prefer to buy it to la niña marta <laughs> in my neighborhood <laughs> Yeah, they, they, she prepares very delicious yuca. Okay, very nice. Today, this is what we're going to practice, guys. We are going to practice this part, okay? And uh, I have for you this information, okay? Uh, how do you cook the food below? Here I have different kind of verbs, okay, that we have to use when we cook. Check the methods that are most common in your country. Remember, in El Salvador, is somehow different from other countries. Okay, for example, we have bake in this case. Bake is uh, hornear. Hornear. Okay. Uh -huh. Boil. Hervir. Okay, that we say boil. Fry in this case. Freir. For example, you fry the chicken, you fry the, the yuca in this case, right? Etc. Then we have grill, okay, a la parrilla, right? You remember uh -huh. Uh -huh. when we have when we have uh, the beef, okay, or or the uh, for hamburgers, okay. Then we have roast, okay, when we the have fish. the chicken, uh -huh. and steam. Ese es al vapor. For example, Jose, when you are on a diet, Jose, <laughs> steam, yes. right? Uh -huh. steam, okay, steam vegetables, etc. So. Let's see, bake, boil, fry, grill, roast, and steam. So what you are gonna do right now is to tell me what are the common uh, ways we cook the following food. And you tell me, for example, the number one. Let's start with the number one. We have in this class a chef because Jose uh, can cook very well, right Jose? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Accept it, Jose. Accept it. Uh -huh. Since I met okay. you, since I met you, you told me, teacher, I can cook very well. <laughs> okay. So, Jose, according to you, how do you consider fish can be cooked? Fish? Uh, mm -hmm. Bake? Bake you is bake it? One, 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 one way. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, shrimp snow. No, a uh, fish in this category. Fish. Can you ah, can you ah, boil okay. the fish? Can you boil the fish? Mm, yes, in the soup. Ah, in the soup. Okay, very good, mm -hmm. very good. Can you fry the fish? Fry, yes. Mm -hmm. Grill it. Yes. Very delicious, by the way. Very delicious. Roast, uh -huh. roast, no. Can you roast it? It's not so common, right? Mm, no. Maybe if you are lost okay. in a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, yes. but it's not so common in El Salvador to roast the fish. Okay, can you make the the, the fish uh, with be a steam? Yes. Al vapor, right? Yes. Uh huh. Very yes. good. Okay. Very very nice. What about Carlita Yanes? What about the shrimps? Uh, what is shrimp? Shrimps. Uh, camarones. Shrimps. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Um. Boil, boil, mm -hmm. fry, mm -hmm. 
grill. Grill, very good. Mm -hmm. And a steam. And a steam, okay, very good, very good. What about the eggs, Eduardo? How do you consider the eggs can be done? Uh, uh, the eggs can be uh, bake. baked. 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 Hornear los uh, huevos. Le. <laughs> Hay una, hay una forma, hay una ah, forma de hornearlo. De horneado, de very different, right? Uh -huh. in, in, in a tomato, tomato, tomatada. In a, uh -huh, tomato, I don't know. Well, tomatada, tomatada, right? Tomatada. Yes, eh, uh -huh. Se pone el huevo en, en un huequito y se mete en el horno. Hey, really? Ah, uh -huh. very nice. José, you are very good at cooking, ¿ah? Huh? You have a lot of tips. Very nice. Really, yes. ah. <laughs> very nice. Can you boil Next the eggs, Eduardo? Go, yeah, it's yeah. boiled, fried. In the Spanish, in Salvadorian Spanish, we say, Haceme unos dos huevos duros. Okay. What else? Antibios. Soup. Antibios, uh-huh. Antibios, yeah. Uh-huh, very good. Can you uh, fry, fry the eggs? Yeah, I think. Huevo, fry, yeah. huevo estrellado, right? Fry eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I don't know, the other is... I, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, they are not so common. Grill, roast, and steam, I don't think so. Okay, that's it. What about chicken? What is the most common? Okay. Jose, chicken? Chicken, chicken. and beef, Jose. Chicken and beef, please. Uh, um, chicken and beans. And beef. Mm -hmm. Ah, and beef. Okay. Uh, bake. Mm hmm Boil too in a soup. Fry. Okay. Uh -huh. Fry. Very good. Grill. Grill. Rust. And a steam. And oh, and all the all, options, all, right? All the options. Yeah. What about beef? Can you do it with steam? The steam, no. Mm -hmm. It's not so common. Okay. Very no, good. No. Very good. Carlita Yanes, what about potatoes and onions? A bake. Mm -hmm. Bake. Uh -huh. Very good. Boil. Boil. Mm -hmm. uh, grill. Grill the potatoes. Very good. And the onions too. Mm -hmm. And the steam. And the steam. Okay. Very good. You know, um, and I fry. Have the, and fry. Uh, fry too. Fry potatoes, fry, right? They fry, are very delicious. And fry, fry onions too if you want to make uh, frijolitos, right? Okay. I remember I went to a, 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 a barbecue, but the barbecue had two kinds of meat, pork and, and beef. But in the middle of the meat, you know, uh, the person that was making the barbecue put the onions, the big onions and complete onions in the middle of the, mm. of the grill. And I say, hey, can you grill the onions? Ha, huh. pereceme. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and pineapple, pineapple too. In the pineapples too, yeah, they are very delicious. In with a little cinnamon, with a little cinnamon right. on the pineapple. Wow, very delicious. Okay, that's it. Yes. Then, guys, we have the very eggplant. Delicious. You know, eggplant in this case is una berenjena. Okay, eggplant. Berenjena. And bananas, aha, uh -huh. eggplant. It sounds a little weird because it's a huevo en planta, planta de huevo. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a berenjena in... <laughs> In the meaning, okay, eggplant, that's it. And then we have bananas, okay. Bananas in the steamed bananas, they are very delicious. I have eaten the steamed bananas. A roast bananas, I don't know, roast. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, ah. yeah. A lot yes. of fuego, in a, right? In a pin, a in a, pinchos. Yes, and the, the pinchos, uh -huh. Uh -huh. very good. Grill too, okay, grill. Yes. My grandmother used to do it. Fry in el centro San Salvador, then. It's true. Uh -huh, it's true. It's true. You are right. Fry bananas, boil, okay, and bake boil. for for cakes. Bake. Uh huh. That's it. Okay. So we're gonna work on these um these adverbs, right? Once again, bake, boil, fry, grill, roast, and steam, right? And I'm gonna share with you this audio, okay? This audio is uh, about a recipe for Elvis Presley. Okay, Eduardo, can you read the instructions, please? Listen to the to this recipe mm -hmm. for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a healthy, 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 
healthy snack? Okay, this is, you know, Elvis Presley, a well-known singer from the past. And this was his favorite ever, forever snack. Okay, let's listen to the audio, read, understand, and tell me if you would like to try it or not. Okay, there we go. Page 25, exercise 9, Perspectives. Family Cookbook. Part A. Listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Peanut butter and banana. Three tablespoons peanut butter. One banana, mashed. Two slices of bread. Two tablespoons butter, melted. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Once again, second time. Page 25, Exercise 9, Perspectives. Family Cookbook, Part A. Listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Peanut butter and banana. Three tablespoons peanut butter. One banana, mashed. Two slices of bread. Two tablespoons butter, melted. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Okay, very good. This was the favorite, you know, snack for a oh, sandwich, right? Kind of sandwich uh, for um, Elvis Presley, okay? Carlita, can you please read the, 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 the ingredients? Uh, three tablespoons peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Butter. One banana mashed. Mash. Butter. One banana mashed. Mm -hmm. Two slices of bread. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons butter. Melt. Melted. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. Three tablespoons, right? Those cucharadas, right? Uh, peanut butter, one banana mash. That is like bien, right? Uh, desechito, right? What we say. Very good. Jose, can you please read the, 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 the process? Are you there, Jose? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Jose. Don't worry. First, first, uh -huh. mix, first, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Mashed. Mashed. Then, mashed. 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 Excellent. Banana mm -hmm. together. Then lightly toast the slice of bread. Mm -hmm. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the mm -hmm. toast. On the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put in in, in a pan with Mel, 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 melted, sorry, melted, melted butter, butter. Mm -hmm. melted butter. Finally, fry the bird until it's brown of both sides. Both sides, okay, very good. Do you think it's delicious, Carlita? The uh, yes, banana? it sounds delicious, right? Yes, I think. I was, I was, well, reading, I was reading the, I was reading the, 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 the recipe. And I say, well, I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> I will do it tomorrow. I will tell you, ah, huh? ya le voy a contar si me salió, okay? <laughs> Peanut butter and banana, okay? That's it. That's it. A good. All, all, all it sounds del delicious is not mm -hmm. healthy. I agree with you. I agree <laughs> with you. Very, very, very uh, unhealthy <laughs> with the butter, the peanut butter. I can imagine after five days with a lot of pimples on my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, a lot of a lot of pimples. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, uh, the here I have here 
the pictures. So I want you to tell me the verbs that the person is doing here, okay? Or at least the process, okay? Look at the steps in the recipe again and number the pictures from one to five, okay? According to the process that Jose read, what is the picture number one? What is the picture number one, according to the toast, process? Toast the bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. toast, toast, the, toast the bread. Toast the bread. This is the number one. Yes. Mm, check again, check again. No es un tostador, si es un tostador. Yeah, 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 the number one is this, but according to the, according to the, 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 the description. Jose. Ah, okay, uh -huh. so had to first tell. mix the peanut. Mix uh -huh. the peanut butter. butter and mashed banana is uh, the, the fourth. The fourth. The number four, let me see, one, two, three, four. Excellent, uh -huh. that's it. This is the number one, uh -huh. mashed, okay, the peanut butter and the banana. Second one, Carlita? Um, the picture one. Aha, uh -huh. can you read the process? Aha, uh -huh. then lightly, lightly toast the slice, lightly, then lightly toast the slice of bread. Excellent, this one. Okay, that's it. Continue, Jose, number three. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. What uh, is the, the picture? Third. The third. Picture number third. Aha, uh -huh. the third one. Excellent, mm -hmm. very good. Continue, Carlita. Um, after that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, what is the picture? Picture five. two five. or picture five? Five. Picture five, excellent. And finally, Jose, uh, Friday. Okay. Bread. And chili is brown on both sides. The, the, the second. The second one. Excellent. Okay. Very good. That's it. So if you see here, what we are doing in this in this case is that we are using these words first, then, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Look, the sequence adverbs. Okay. What are the sequence adverbs, teacher? The sequence adverbs are the ones that you use to describe processes. In this case, obviously, the topic is about food, but you can use these ones not only for food, but also for processes, for example, how to um, deposit money in a bank, how to turn on a computer. The first you do this, then da, 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 after that, etc. So we use sequence adverbs. For example, the number one, first, first. A lot of people say first, but no, this is the pronunciation for this is first, first, first. then, next, then. after that, and finally. Finally. Okay. The first and the finally, it, you <coughs> never, you never move them. First is first and finally is finally, guys. You don't move them. But you can, you can move then next after that. They is not necessary to, to stick on that order. No. For example, I can say first, after that, then next, finally. Or I can change it. First, next, then after that, finally. Or first, next, after that, then finally. Well, Different options, okay? But the ones that you cannot move is the number one and the number five in this case, first and finally, okay? For example, Eduardo, read the, read the, 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 the examples that I have here, please. And the sequence? Uh -huh. other. Sequence other. First. First, mix the peanut butter and banana mm -hmm. together. Okay, very good. Continue. Then toss the slices of bread. Mm -hmm. Next, speed or spread mm -hmm. uh, the, the mixture on the toast. On the top, very good. Toast. 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 Okay, okay. 
after that, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. With butter, uh-huh. Finally, fry the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. On both sides, very good. And right now, what we're gonna have is this one. I have here a recipe for grilled kebabs, okay? In Spanish, we call them pinchos, right? Okay? Look at the pictures and number the steps from one to five. Candita, can you do me a favor right now? Okay. Candita, can you take a picture for this part and send it to the WhatsApp group? In the WhatsApp group? Uh-huh. Please take a picture for this. Because okay. right now what you're going to do, guys, is to look at the pictures, right? And put the information in the correct order, okay? Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to put one, two, three, four, five. And you have to use first, then after that, next, finally. Okay? Okay. That's it. This is what you are going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, well, obviously you're going to work in, in trios because uh, I don't know what happened to Claribel. I was checking here that she had problems, okay, trying to, to get into the class, okay? So this is what we are going to do right now. Uh, look at the pictures here because you're going to put this uh, recipe in the, in the correct order, okay? Using the sequence adverbs and putting the numbers in the correct order, okay? Pay attention to the pictures. This is the, this is the, 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 the clue. Okay, let's see here. Let's accept the invitation right now. Okay. And let's work. I'm gonna give you like about the last five minutes we have, okay, for finishing this work. The picture. Okay. Uh, the num uh, number two, I think, is put the meat and vegetables on the skewers. Let me see. The, uh, put the meat and vegetable on the skewer. Yeah. It's number two, yes. No, but the number the number two is is the 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 last one. Could some meat. Could, could some meat and vegetables. Uh -huh. uh -huh. them is, is the last one. It's the the, the last the, one. The five the five item. This is the the second. Okay. But the the first is. Is is it is the the first put the meat and veg, vegetable on on the skewers skewers yeah and the say the wraps on the grill no put the 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 four the four is the four. <laughs> Ah. Put the table on the grill and cook for ten. Ah, uh, yes, correct. The four. The, the four is the four. Yeah, and the 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 third is is the six. Take the rebabs of the grills and enjoy. Is the five. Five. Is is a okay. The first. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, first, finally. Then uh, is the, the next is then the ne, then is is the six the, the, the five item. The order is three, one, five, four, and two. Yeah, correctly. It's correctly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We finish. We finish. Are you done? 
Yes? Yeah. Okay, yeah, very good. Let me check, okay, and let's check the, 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 the answers here. We're going to come back to the main session, then we check the answers together. Okay, guys, very good. Then I have the picture once again. Okay, this is how to make kebabs, right? Kill, uh, uh, grill, kill, <laughs> grilled uh, kebabs. That's it. According to the pictures here. Okay, the number one, I'm going to read the number one because this is the example that um, you have been given. Number one, it says, first, put, okay, charcoal in the grill and light it. Okay, this is like enciéndalo, right? Okay, uh, continue please. Other volunteer for the number two? Number two. Mm -hmm. is, this is a cook, cook up some meat and vegetables. Okay, uh, can you please use the sequence adverbs? Don't forget to add the sequence adver adverb here. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, the first put charcoal in the grill and light it. Okay, then, then you have to use then, uh, then, uh -huh. then cook some meat and vegetables, marinate them for 20 minutes, and your favorite sauce. Oh, perfect. Okay, then cut up some meat. That's a number two. Very good. Uh, continue, please. Somebody else. Three is a uh, next put mm -hmm. the meat and vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. on this, vegetables. <laughs> On the skewers. The skewers, okay, very good. Uh huh, Carlita Yanes. Um, next, put the kibbutz on the grill and cook for 10 to, uh, to 15. 15 minutes, turning them over from time to time. Okay, very good. Turning them over is like Okay, dándoles vuelta, right, from Maria time Pes. to time. Uh -huh, very good. And uh, Jose, the last one? The last one is um, take the kibos, kibos. Okay, use okay. the sequence adverb, please. Ah, sorry. Finally. 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 Take, take the kibos of the grill and enjoy. And enjoy. Perfect. Okay, very good. Take the kebabs of the grill and enjoy okay very 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 good okay so remember this is what we're gonna be okay discussing okay um these are is sequence adverbs the sequence adverbs are first then after that next finally okay for describing processes okay and today we practice the new verbs right bake steam boil fry Okay, um, those are the ones that we have to, for finishing the, okay, um, in this kind of topic. Tomorrow we continue, okay, we're going to review this topic, this section number five, okay. So uh, the last section that is for next week, it's about future. So it's going to be very easy because it's a review, future with will and going to, okay. And that's it. Uh huh. The section number five, and we finish the intermediate with these five sections. Okay. okay. Uh, well, continue, right? Insisting on finishing the platform. If you already finished the, the the section number four, good for you. If you haven't done it, keep on working on the unit. Uh, uh, sorry, section number four. Okay. That's uh, the one that we have been studying so far. Questions so far? No. No, no questions. So. Okay, very nice, guys. Enjoy your afternoon. Have a beautiful afternoon. Okay, don't forget to practice your English as much or as many times as possible. Okay. Um, any questions about the platform? Let me know via WhatsApp. I will help you there. Okay. okay Thank you for time. joining the class today. Good night. Thank you, Good teacher. Night. Good afternoon. Everything. Okay. Bye, Carlita. Enjoy your nachos. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.